everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where today we have to deal with the fallout of Thessia. Oh, we have the Elcor Flotilla now. I think that was... See, the noises in here now are a lot more stressful. Like before it was more quiet, but now we hear like radio stuff going on and we hear people saying... Like, you know, we've been breached or whatever, you know, like there's information coming in and it's stressful and I, it just heightens the stress and now I have to talk to Anderson and see if he can pep talk me out of this. This was really tough for me. Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson, so damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? <gasps> this, that's not a pep talk. I knew going in there wouldn't be a minute of this war that was easy. But watching Thessia fall, and knowing it was my responsibility. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? I'm gonna... It could cost us the Whoa. war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none, but we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here, and it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. Yeah, but that's also like, I don't know, not something you want to send like your father figure out to, you know? But. Uh, like I don't know, you wanted to, you wanted it to mean something, right? Like we wanted to get this information. She wanted this war to end. She wants to save Earth. Thessia being attacked, I don't think is her fault, but I could see why she would think it is, you know. But like they were, Thessia was gonna get attacked, and her getting the catalyst wasn't gonna, or getting the information about the catalyst rather, because it's not the catalyst yet. I mean, it's like a, it's a it's a clue to the catalyst. Um, wasn't gonna just slap it in there and save Thessia immediately, you know? It was probably Thessia was probably going to fall anyway, but still, like, she puts so much on her shoulders, and I think going against Kai Lang would be, it's, for my character, right, for my shepherd, would be an extra blow, because it's like, especially when he has the gall to say Thane's name, like, he has no right, he has no right to speak his name, you know, even, I don't know, even if you just are friends with Thane, right, it's like, he died... A hero but for me it was like for my character right for Shepard my Shepard it was like he was a chance at something good in the world I think for her and Thane it was it was a it was two people who'd seen a lot and been through a lot in two very different ways in a lot of ways but enough similarities to have common ground but more than that it was something new like it was for, something new for them both and brought them both out of you know, obviously, Thane's grief for his wife was way more than, you know, Shepard's grief for, you know, Caden just dropping her like a hot potato and being a meanie about it. But you know what I mean? Like, they were both something new to each other at an age when they maybe thought it wouldn't happen to them. And in a time when they thought it wouldn't happen to them. I don't know. I have a lot of feelings. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you can show me life. What's left of it. That's so good, though. <laughs> It might need a new coat of paint first. <laughs> this will be over soon. It better. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. They both kind of pep talked each other, right? But the fact that she felt like she needed to pep talk him a bit and to show him, it's like, okay, you know, I, I won't let you down, you know? And that's a big thing too, right? It's all this stuff, but it's like big, big picture stuff. But it's also like small picture stuff, like the people she knows and everything and watching people and listening to people die who believed in you and like I don't, it's just it was brutal and I'm just kind of rehashing it I think but it's really brutal yeah. not after we took down that reaper on Rannoch yeah we were riding high on that huh yeah but there's no way we could have stopped every reaper on Thessia the Asari should have jumped in earlier I mean I, you're not wrong you're not wrong um, I guess we'll... Commander, Cerberus has there we go. a facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. That's where we'll get our Cerberus codes. 
Thanks for listening, Commander. It was a good idea. And right now, it's Ooh. the best lead we've got. I did not got. mean to do that. You've got new messages, Commander. Maybe it ain't good luck. Okay. Sorry. I did not mean to roll around like that. I'm a sorry military command. Oh, this is... <laughs> I was like... I was like, who? <sighs> you survived our fight on this. You're not as weak as I thought, but never forget that your best wasn't good enough to stop me now. Listen, I don't even want to hear it from the man who had to have air support to keep me at bay. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, this is a good... Fight. His whole thing... It was so dumb. Kai Lang's... It's like... You know what maybe super infuriating about Kai Lang is that they could have actually made him a cool character. They could have made him, like, super strong and cool. But all he does is twiddle his thumbs around and, like, wiggle around in a fight and gets other people to do his work for him. And then he acts like he's a baddie. And, like, it's really frustrating to fight somebody like that. It's like one of those, like, keyboard warrior things where, like, you can't fight against somebody who's stupid and, like, thinks that they know everything and have an ivory tower shoved so far up their butthole that it's coming out the top of their head as an excuse for a personality. You know what I mean? Where it's just, like, you're on your high horse, the ivory tower of, like, academia or whatever. You know what I mean? That whole concept of things. And you can't talk to somebody, even though you're, like, looking at them and they're like, you're just a neckbeard who lives in your mother's basement and... Listen, I love living in my mother's basement. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I've done that before. But, like, you know what I mean? The vibe is, like, off. And you're like, no. And, like, if Kyling was actually a worthy opponent, somebody who was actually difficult to fight on, like, like a 1v1 basis or whatever, like, it would be something. But, like, that was a cheap fight. And then to have him be like, you're just not good enough to beat me. I'm like, you had a little gun chip. You had a little gun chip. <laughs> <laughs> and like in the fight in the citadel he hit back up like you know what i mean he kept running away he keeps running away from me and then acting like he's the better <laughs> fighter it's like you literally ran away on that little little car or whatever you got picked up on the citadel and then you jumped on my car and hit it with a sword but like where'd you go you know what i mean like and then he <laughs> did a good job. Hmm. Now an entire planet is dying because you like the strength to win. The Le legend of Shepard needs to be rewritten. And I hope they're never your last Shepard ends with your death. He's also just a, he's just, he's also canonically, actually, I don't know if this is, this is that not technically canonical. In my head, he's canonically an incel. Because in the fourth book that we do not name, because it doesn't actually exist canonically, because it was written by some outside person who only writes tie-ins for, like, video games and movies. They don't write a single, they've never written a single book of their own work. They just write a bunch of tie-ins. Um... They, because Drew Carption was one of the first three books, and those are the canon. Those are canon books in the original Mass Effect lore. That fourth one was written by an interloper, and it did a lot of really stupid things. One of which was making uh, Kai Lang um, afraid and hateful towards women, and basically made him an incel. So, like, even though it's not canon, it fits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, also, how did he get this? How did trainer? How did he get this number? How did he get my? mail address I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more crackdown on um, my mail if we don't finish that crucible soon there won't be a galaxy left to save yeah thanks buddy so Thessia huh I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about yeah now. they were thinking that earlier too soon <laughs> oh god too soon <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. In case you hadn't noticed, we just lost a few million people. This isn't the time. You see this? Tip yeah. tree. Yeah. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on Commander. So why the jokes? Because Edie says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like more than Elysium, where it was pretty much you versus 10,000 Batarians trying to kill you. Yeah. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. Yeah. The guy leading the resistance on Earth is worried about you. And I'm supposed to help. I mean... It's rough. It, and Joker, I, the thing is, is, I explained Joker in Mass Effect 2. Shepard explained Joker in Mass Effect 2 is dealing with stress with jokes, right? But even knowing that right now, Shepard is like, I, like he said, the metabolic scans show that her stress levels are off the charts. And he's, what else is, like, he's trying, he doesn't know how to, he, he, I'm a hero, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm Shepard's like a big, de like, Joker thinks him, him and Shepard are like, I mean, he, like, he trusts me and, like, we're friends, but, like, 
he's like, how am I supposed to help somebody like her, you know? And so he's only doing what he can, but... I appreciate the thought, Joker, but I'm fine. No, you're not. The hell you are. You're like half robot at this point. No offense here. Hmm. And it's my fault. When the Collectors blew up the first Normandy, you died because I wouldn't leave. Because you had to come back for me. I couldn't leave the best pilot in the fleet behind, could I? Yeah, well, I guess that would have looked bad on your report. <laughs> come on. We got work to All do. All right, so now we're back to jokes. <laughs> you know? Couldn't leave. Yeah, and it's like, he... And everybody's dealing with this all stuff on their own. Like, like Miranda had her own issue, right, that has been hanging over her head. So everyone's trying to get stuff off their chest because we're not sure we're going to make it, you know? But Shepard keeps putting stuff on, put stuff on, put stuff on, on her shoulders, like, trying to take everything onto her. And, like, I'm telling you guys, like, this dress is wild, even just for little old me. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. Yeah? This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona no. desert. I'm not in the yeah. mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. I mean, Shepard's, you see that Shepard is like, she's like, you can imagine she's like kind of stomping through the ship at this point. Just like, or like, I don't know, very like hard faced, like, you know, just heavy tread and like fast and like looking angry and like not sure what to do with herself right i went to joker first because you know you gotta check in with your pilot but there's one person that i gotta go to immediately okay fine i'll talk to tally shepherd this wasn't your fault it's not about fault i was supposed to stop them you will i don't know if i can do this tally earth Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. And that belief should help you feel better, but sometimes it just makes it heavier, you know? Let's make sure that... The man, the myth, the legend. He is not. Oh, he is. Okay, like he is not here. This is where I go when things get really. Where Shepherd would go for me. My for my Shepherd, where she would go. She wouldn't ignore people as she went along. But oh, did he not? Oh yeah, I was like, did he not say he was here? Here he is. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. I wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? If there are, I can't see them. It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. Uh -huh. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. And see, she's been telling everybody so far that she's fine, right? But with Garrus, she can say it is taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before you... Before your friend picks you up, dusts you off and tells you you're the best damn soldier he's ever met. <laughs> we'll get through this. We always do. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we really don't know what you'd, what you'd do without him, you know? I know, I'm sure for other people it's different, but online, there is no shepherd without Vicarian, and there's no truer words spoken. Not something you can ever get used to. Seeing a world go down like that. Thousands of years of civilization on fire. But it wasn't your fault. Thessia was already gone by the time we got there. And maybe the elusive man did win one, but so what? I've lost a few fights in my time, and I'm still here. It's because I always made sure. A battle doesn't make a war, Shepard. We're still in this. I have no idea what she'd do without him. I'm getting emotional about him. Like, I have no idea what she'd do without him. 
because he's been in a I think it helps he's been in similar positions and that like he's had a leadership role before and things have gone bad like right like he lost his whole crew essentially to like a traitor and like he had to pick himself back up and keep going you know and like you can't a shepherd she can't bear this burden all by herself you know like this is something that you would have to have somebody you could trust like it would it would break you i don't care how strong you are as an individual like there's only so much i think you could take it's nice to have tally back i've made sure we're well stocked with dextro based antibiotics and antihistamines i mean you should have been like that with garris but uh it's good that we have it for tally too now the really hard one right where i gotta go talk to liara about how her planet is gone Dr. Tassoni has gone to speak with the pro. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that's, oh no. Oh no. Oh. They're 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 in a big tiff right now. Let's see who else do we have here? Tally Chakwas. And we still have to do the rounds, right? Like, Shepard, despite probably wanting to just go, like, curl up. You know, I don't know, like, she's tired, you know? Like, this is so long, and we were so close. And to have all that, her failures of on saving Thane, her failures on the Crucible, you know, on saving Thessia, on saving Earth, all of these, it's just, I think it would add up to the point now where it's like, this was like the straw, right? That broke, well, not even a straw, it was a crowbar that broke her back, you know? Like... Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, I would have to head down here as soon as possible. Those were all lies back there. They were not. My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd have priest. Hey! Settle down. My home was just destroyed, and all he can do is gloat. All right, I have to go make sure Liara doesn't. or actually kill him, so. She knew that her entire religion torn apart by one Prothean, so she's struggling. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Like, I I don't want to, like, totally, like, just, like, rag on Javik, but, like, he was kind of a dick about it, and Liara's one of my oldest friends, and she's obviously very distraught, so it's like, but I can't ask him to be different than who he is, you know, but I, I am going to, I'm going to side with Liara a little bit on this. Given what's happened today, I think you owe Liara an apology, Javik. Apologize for the truth? For not doing more. You're a Prothean. You were supposed to have all the answers. How could you not stop this from happening? We believed you would. Long ago, we saw the potential in your people. Even then, it was obvious. The wisdom, the patience. You were the best hope for this cycle. So you were guided yeah. when necessary. Well, it didn't work. And you're still alive, aren't you? Your world may have fallen, but as long as even one Asari is left standing, the fight isn't over. I guess that goes for Protheans, too. Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Liara to Sony. <laughs> That's his first time using her name, also. That was unexpected. Thank you. We still need her talents. If grief overcomes her, she will be lost to us. So did you actually mean what you said? Does it matter? Yes. Liara's been a good friend to me. It matters. Then I will tell you what you want to hear. I meant what I said. Carry on. But that didn't tell me anything! <laughs> I think he did mean it. He just doesn't want to show uh, any weakness at all. Any emotion. It was good to see another of my kind. 
even if he was just a ghost. One more Prothean fights the Reapers. If there is what? I suffered many defeats in the last war, Commander. Let this loss be the fuel that powers your rage. Dang it, I hit the button too fast. Many are asking what I eat. <laughs> they will never know. It is harder to be poisoned that way. I is it true you keep fish in your cabin? I keep commander? jellyfish in there. I what? I am with my own thoughts. Yeah, I'm gonna say that from now on. If somebody like catches catches me when I'm in the middle of space and out or maladaptive daydreaming, I am with my own thoughts. <laughs> I like it, honestly. Yeah. These guys are old crewmates. They're catching up. Commander, we were just talking to Liara. She's a strong one. I'd say her world's just been completely rocked. Completely. Adams and I were just remembering Novaria and the terrible way her mother died. Liara seemed so together afterward. Couldn't have been easy. Mm. For weeks, she told me stories about her mother. Yeah, me too. I have a feeling she'll be okay. Yeah. Hope so. Where's Caden's voice actor? Can we get him back? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I like, even if I can't obviously like see everybody interacting all the time, I like seeing, I like hearing about it, right? And this is a little bit of a way to cover up how like calm Liara was after her mother's death, because it really was weird in one. Like she watches, if you bring her, she watches her mother die right in front of her or is part of the reason she's, she's dead, you know? And then, she doesn't say anything, but to hear that she was, you know, talking with other people and dealing with it her own way, you know. But there's only so much, like like Shepard said for her own stuff, there's only so much you can take in watching your entire planet burn. But the thing is, like, Shepard's already gone through that, and everyone's like, I don't know, tiptoeing around Liara, and it's like, to be fair, well, I'm like, Liara's very young to me, she's kind of like, I don't know, 20? You know, I say that as an ancient, wise, 33-year-old, but, like, you know, when we first met her, she was basically 18. She was 118, which is, you know, weird speak for she's basically 18 for long-lived, you know, like, fairy, like, fae or elves or whatever, where they're like, oh, she's had a really long childhood, it's 118, or, like, vampires or whatever, you know? I'm 118. You're like, okay, all right, yeah, okay. So you're basically just barely legal is what we're saying here. Um, but yeah, so to me, she's very young. And despite everything she's dealt with, she still is very, very young. Despite her actually being much older than I am, you know? So, I don't know. Have you found a story on Thessia yet? No. I'm trying to word it right. What happens if you word it wrong? If I'm lucky, the Citadel Stock Exchange drops 2,000 extra points. And if you're unlucky? Don't know. Never really been unlucky. Yeah. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. Do we need to talk, Commander? Whoa. Not right now, Alice. I almost went with the, Let me know when we do. With the bottom one. She's such a robot. Let me know when we do. Like, she's expecting me to kick her off the ship any second now. There's no reason for me to go in that little below decks part where uh, Jack used to live. Not for now. <laughs> Doggy, look at it go. Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hey, for what it's worth, I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but you're just human like the rest of us. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not what you did. Hey, everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. Yeah, like she can't even take a rest right now, like I said earlier, right? Or she's got to go through and like check in with everybody despite her being rough. But it's nice to know, too, that like people care about her. Like she has to be a leader, but there's only. I really think there's only so much. Like you need the support of your people when you're a leader. And sometimes you need them as like emotional support, you know? So. 
I don't know, there's like a line there, right? <coughs> Where a leader does have to be sort of above things a little bit, but like, I don't know. I guess that's what Garrus is there for, really. Is to be your, my friend, you know? To be the one person I can talk to about things. I like the look of this armor, but I might need to get like shield regen here soon. Oh, my little... Why is Javik talking about you? Javik's like, Javik eats fish. But he can't eat jellyfish, right? Some species eat jellyfish. I wonder if the hand art... <laughs> that would actually be really funny if the, the Protheans ate jellyfish and the hand art are very closely related to jellyfish and the hand are like super obsessed with the Protheans specifically as like a religious cult. Oh, that would be very fitting. And t terrible. I, what is it like? Uh, like um, ironic, kind of like um, there's a twisted sense of. Uh, I don't even know. I lost my train of thought. Honestly, there. What do I need to do? We need. We have that. I think we actually need to go maybe back to the citadel, and see if there's any thing for me to pick up because we have horizon and that is where like we had the shenanigans like with Caden right where we had our fallout with Caden and two that was the planet we were trying to save the colony we were trying to save that half of it got taken in two by the collectors and with that we'll go ahead and call it there thank you all so much for watching I really appreciate it really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons including my quinter patrons thank you so much Vane for your support I very much appreciate it and I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Kalito my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support I very much appreciate it as well and I want to give an extra extra special shout out to Christopher my forest tier patron who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough so thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.